When the king is captured by a witch who plans to imprison his entire kingdom, two siblings join forces on a journey to rescue him and break the spell that has turned their friends into minions. Today we're going to recap the story of the movie, Secret Magic Control Agency, from 2021. The king's birthday is only three days away and his first mission to celebrate this great day is to taste the dishes from the banquet that will be served during the party. Rosario then presents the delicious recipes he has prepared, but when it comes time for dessert, the sweets start rolling around the table and the magic they contain infects the other dishes. Suddenly, the spaghetti comes to life and uses leftover noodles to immobilize Rosario and the king's advisor. The creature then traps the majesty in his chair and enlists the help of the roast turkeys to take him far away. When the guards enter the hall, it's too late, because the king has already been taken away and there's no way to bring him back. After being informed of what has happened, the prime minister orders the guard to contact the secret magic control agency, as they are monitoring all the wizards living in the kingdom. In addition, the SMCA holds the registry of all magic wands, so no magic or potion can be made without them knowing. This means that they are the most competent professionals to save the king in this situation. After being contacted by the prime minister, Special Agent Gretel soon begins her investigation and goes after a circus performer who is accused of running a smuggling operation. Determined to stop the investigation, the man calls his guards to expel Gretel, but the agent easily manages to get rid of them. After checking the dungeon, she discovers that the circus has not captured the king, but is keeping magical creatures locked up in cages to serve as an attraction. After discovering this cruelty, Gretel frees the prisoners and receives a necklace as a gift from a mermaid called Elita, who thanks the agent for saving her. Hours later, the Prime Minister goes to the agency's headquarters and Agent Stepmother reveals that all the wizards and witches in the kingdom have been investigated, but no sign of the king has been found. So the man suggests that the woman call in the magician Hensel to take part in the investigation, as he has experience in tricking people. This guy was able to steal the king's golden statue right in the middle of the central square and made the whole kingdom look for it. Hours later, Hensel returned the statue in front of everyone and, thanks to this, he became known as the greatest magician in the whole kingdom. However, the stepmother claims that he is nothing more than a charlatan and refuses to ask for his help. However, she changes her mind when she remembers that his majesty's birthday is in two days' time and if he isn't found by then, there's a risk of anarchy. So the woman orders Gretel to fetch Hensel, her brother, and take him to the agency. At that moment, the magician is in a private show, where a select group of people have the privilege of witnessing his incredible power. Through false magic tricks, Hensel manages to sell amulets that promise to be able to cure any illness and neutralize any spell cast on the user. After the group of millionaires leave, an orphaned woman approaches the wizard and asks to borrow one of his amulets because her little sister is very ill. Compassionate for the young woman's pain, Hensel tells her that those amulets don't work on children and gives her some of his gold coins. This way, the woman will be able to pay for a doctor to treat her sister. Then Gretel appears and announces that her brother has been arrested. Hensel immediately tries to escape with his treasure, but is surrounded by the guards and has to look for another way out. With the help of a rope, he manages to swing himself out of the window, but runs into several other security guards at the agency and is ultimately captured by his sister. When he arrives at the SMCA hideout, the magician is impressed and says that he is proud of Gretel for working in a place like that. When she enters her boss's office, Gretel discovers that her brother has managed to free himself from his handcuffs and the stepmother orders the young woman to release him. The woman then reveals that the king was captured three days ago through magic and must be found before his birthday party. When she finds out that she will have to work as a team with her brother on this case, Gretel is furious, as their relationship is very troubled. Ever since Hensel started fooling people with fake magic tricks, the agent has distanced herself from him, because she can't accept having a charlatan in her family. Hensel immediately refuses the invitation, but decides to help with the investigation when the stepmother threatens to expose all the tricks he has ever pulled, because if that happens, no client will ever trust him again. In return, if the pair manage to find the king within the next 48 hours, Hensel will receive a level 80 wizard's license and Gretel will be promoted to the best agent in the entire kingdom. After accepting the mission, the two siblings go to meet Agent Stepdaughter to pick up some equipment and enter a room of magical artifacts. When he sees items such as Aladdin's lamp, Thor's hammer and Pandora's box, Hensel is thrilled because he has never seen a real magical artifact before. When Stepdaughter appears, the wizard puts on his seven-league boots and loses control of his feet. Suddenly, he starts running at top speed across the room and Gretel has to knock him down. After checking that no items have been destroyed, she accompanies the agent to the laboratory where the magical artifacts are being studied. After collecting all the necessary information, the scientists use reverse engineering to create the devices that are used by the agents during their missions. 
The stepdaughter then hands Gretel a pair of special glasses that allow her to see any trace of magic. Next, the scientist presents the magic watch, where the most diverse objects are stored. In addition, this device is capable of opening a portal that allows its user to enter anywhere. Finally, stepdaughter gives Hansel some light stones so that he doesn't risk getting lost during the mission. To help with the investigation, the scientist has formulated a reagent that can guide the two siblings to the ingredient that brought the king's food to life. Before leaving, Hensel steals one of the magical artifacts from the room and then accompanies Gretel to the sweet store, which is one of the main suppliers of food for the palace. Somewhere far away in the kingdom, a witch uses magic to make all her recipes and bring sweets to life. When Ilvira sees the king arriving at her house, she hugs him and he remembers that this woman once worked as a cook in his castle. However, when he discovered that she was using dark magic to turn her food into animated beings, the king banished her from his kingdom. Now, Ilvira is out for revenge and forces his majesty to eat various cookies to make him fall in love with her. In this way, the witch will be able to rule the entire kingdom. That night, Hensel and Gretel break into the candy store looking for the secret ingredient. The agent then pulls out a gun and begins her search, but can't find any clues. On the other hand, Hensel discovers that the fireplace is just a trick to hide a secret passage that leads to the stock of sweets. While hiding there, the pair spot two cupcakes walking through the warehouse and Gretel becomes convinced that the person who created them is responsible for the king's capture. The young woman sneaks up to a door, believing that his majesty is trapped on the other side. However, her plan goes awry when Hensel decides to capture the cupcakes, at which point a huge guard dog appears and starts chasing the magician. Meanwhile, Gretel manages to enter the room and verifies that the king is not inside. Instead, the agent finds hundreds of different types of potions and discovers that Baba Yaga is also involved in the monarch's disappearance. Using the reagent developed by the stepdaughter, Gretel finds the mysterious ingredient that brings food to life and climbs a ladder to get it. At that moment, the dog breaks down the door and manages to get into the room, so Hensel decides to attack him, throwing lots of potions at him. Terrified, the creature begins to run quickly and ends up knocking over all the jars on the shelves. When the liquids mix, an explosion occurs and the two siblings are transformed into different types of magical creatures. Eventually, they both return to their original appearance, but are transformed into children, just like the dog that chased them. When the entire store collapses, the fire department is called and the pair are in despair when they discover that they have been rejuvenated. Luckily, Gretel manages to get hold of the bottle containing the secret ingredient and starts fighting with her brother, accusing him of causing the disaster. However, when the firemen show up and find the children, Hensel and Gretel have to flee with the dog. In an attempt to break the spell that has turned her into a child, Gretel decides to return to SMCA headquarters and deliver the ingredient to Agent Stepdaughter. However, when they reach the hall where the agency's secret entrance is located, the trio are thrown out and no one believes that they are special agents, as they only appear to be children. After enduring this humiliation, Gretel decides to find another way into the agency, but once again they are both barred by the guards. However, Gretel doesn't give up and keeps trying to break into the headquarters. During these attempts, the two siblings are chased by guard dogs and repeatedly kicked out by the security guards. After being expelled several times, the agent finally accepts the fact that she won't be helped by her beloved agency and decides to save the king only with the support of her brother. Then the girl gets up and reveals that she is on her way to the dense forest to find Baba Yaga's lair. When he hears this, Hensel is frightened, as there are rumors that this witch devours children. Even so, Gretel is determined to go there to convince her to remove the spell and they both steal a unicycle to get there. Along the way, Hensel throws some magic stones along the way to make sure they don't get lost on the way back. When she arrives at the witch's hideout, Gretel uses her special glasses to check the place for traces of magic and confirms her suspicion that the hut is surrounded by a spell. Suddenly, some crows appear and take the unicycle away so that the children can't return home. So the pair walk towards the hut and the puppy decides to accompany them, then Gretel starts calling for Baba Yaga and a ladder forms in front of the door so that they can climb up. On meeting the witch, the girl says she is there on behalf of the SMCA to investigate the king's disappearance and, on discovering that the two siblings are orphans, Baba Yaga invites them in. While the youngsters eat, the witch says that in the morning she will prepare the potion to remove the spell that has been cast over them. That way, Hensel and Gretel will become adults again. At this point, the girl asks about the secret ingredient and discovers that it is produced by the Witch of the Lake. Then, while wearing her special glasses, Gretel realizes that the cookies she has devoured are covered in magic and gives up eating them. Luckily, Hensel hasn't eaten anything that Baba Yaga gave him, but Cookie devoured the sweets quickly and fell asleep. Immediately, 
Gretel pulls her brother into the bedroom and tells him that they need to rest to continue their investigation the next morning. When they are alone, Gretel reveals to the boy that the cookies were contaminated with a sleeping potion and Hensel tells them that they must flee immediately. However, when he tries to escape through the window, he discovers that all the exits are blocked and becomes desperate when he realizes that Gretel is falling asleep. Before blacking out for good, the girl asks her brother to go to the kitchen and find a herb called the Moon Jewel, which is the antidote to the sleeping potion. As he doesn't know how to identify the herb, the boy needs the witch's help and manages to trick her by telling her that she has just won an all-expenses-paid trip. However, in order to receive the winning ticket, Baba Yaga has to pay a fee and give the boy some Moon Jewel branches. After taking the herb, Hensel runs into the bedroom and puts the plant in Gretel's mouth. She then gives the herb to Cookie to sniff and he wakes up immediately. Hearing the dog barking, the witch tries to enter the room and the two siblings have to think of a strategy to escape. As their unicycle has been taken, they have to go up to the attic and steal the flying pestle. To avoid being followed, Hensel breaks the witch's broom and Gretel sets fire to her hut. However, as they fly away, the boy discovers that they need the broom to drive the pestle and Gretel is furious to discover that Hensel has broken the object. While the two siblings fight each other, Cookie walks around the edges of the pylon and discovers that the vehicle has an automatic pilot that can take them anywhere. So the pair set a course for the magical lake, but they need manual control to land. As they don't have a broom, they end up crashing into a tree and falling from branch to branch until they reach the ground. Just then, the cupcakes who used to work in the sweet store pay Ilvira a visit and the woman is furious to discover that two SMCA agents have blown up her warehouse. Seeking revenge, she bakes a giant cake and orders the creature to go after Hensel and Gretel. However, on the way to the palace, the two siblings are captured by a kraken and taken to the mermaid kingdom. To the children's surprise, the place isn't scary at all and all the residents seem to be having a great time at a big party. However, when the queen sees Cookie, a dog made of candy, the two siblings are mistaken for Ilvira's spies and the giant octopus begins to search them out. On seeing the jar of magic vanilla that Gretel carries in her handbag, the queen comes to the conclusion that the pair went there to steal it and decides to turn them into fish. Hensel is the first to be transformed, but when it's Gretel's turn, Elita sees her necklace around the girl's neck and says that they are not enemies. After being freed, Gretel asks who Ilvira is and says that there is no witch with that name in the agency's system. Then the queen reveals that Ilvira is not a real sorceress and only uses the vanilla produced in the mermaid kingdom to bring her sweets to life. To be able to work magic, a woman needs to become queen, but no king will ever agree to marry her. The mermaid queen then escorts the children to the dungeon, where Ilvira's magical sweets are kept. From time to time, these creatures are sent to steal the kingdom's vanilla and some of them end up being captured. However, the real location of the woman has never been found, so the mermaids can't help the agents rescue the king. So Gretel has another plan to find Ilvira and decides to release the sweets so that they can show her the way to the witch's hiding place. After a few minutes of walking, the pair arrive in a desert and Cookie starts barking. The animal has sensed the presence of a creature nearby and suddenly ends up being crushed by the giant cake. Immediately, Hensel and Gretel have to flee and the boy is almost pushed over the edge of a cliff. However, before he can fall, his sister manages to save him and they are both about to be attacked when Cookie attacks the monster and buys time for the children to save themselves. After getting up, Gretel throws one of her devices at the giant cake and the creature starts flying. The young girl then finds a secret passage that is guarded by Ilvira's sweets. Cookie distracts the cupcakes so that her friends can get on the train and be taken straight to the villain's castle. Along the way, Gretel advises her brother to give up the life of a charlatan and become an SMCA special agent. The girl remembers that this was a dream for both of them when they were children, as their parents also worked at that agency. However, only Gretel managed to get a scholarship to study and become a professional researcher and, as he didn't have the money to pay for school, Hensel decided to follow another path. However, now he also has the chance to join SMCA and fulfill his big dream. Upon arriving at the castle, the pair don disguises to avoid being barred by the guards and walk to the room where the king is being held. When she finds him, Gretel reveals that she went there to rescue him, but the king doesn't remember being captured and is totally in love with Ilvira. Analyzing the cookies he is eating, Hensel discovers that his majesty has been bewitched and that this is Ilvira's plan to become queen. After marrying the king, she will be able to perform real magic and intends to bewitch the whole kingdom in order to get new prisoners. Upon discovering the witch's evil plan, Gretel convinces the king to follow her, but the man believes he is being captured and asks for the help of the guards. Just then, Ilvira appears and the children are caught. The woman then orders them to be thrown into the candy furnace while she and the king fly to the castle, where the wedding will take place. 
Furious at having missed the chance to fulfill her mission, Gretel takes all her anger out on her brother. At that moment, Hensel decides to tell her the truth and tells her that she didn't receive any grant, it was all just an invention of his. The boy then reveals that when their parents perished, they had nothing. So he had to cheat people to get money to pay for Gretel's studies. When he was just a boy, Hensel gave up his dream to help his sister become an agent. When she discovers the truth, Gretel feels ashamed of herself for having harbored resentment towards her brother for so many years and asks for forgiveness. Hensel immediately embraces her and says that he has always loved Gretel. After making up, the two siblings work together to escape the place and Gretel creates an antidote for the love cookie. The young woman then gives life to a dragon in order to get a ride to the palace and Hensel reveals that he left traces during the journey so that they wouldn't get lost on the way back. Then, when they reach the kingdom, Hensel distracts the guards while Gretel enters the castle and throws a dart with the antidote at the king. However, it's now too late, as the couple have just finished their wedding and Ilvira has gained magical powers. Immediately, the witch turns all the guests who have eaten her cookies into loyal subjects and orders her sweets to bind the children. Just then, Gretel attacks the guards and is about to throw the antidote into the cookie dough when Ilvira threatens to knock Hensel into the cauldron and the girl hands her the antidote to save him. However, the witch doesn't keep her end of the bargain and pushes the boy away, so Gretel jumps in to save him and they both end up trapped. When they are about to sink, Hensel takes the device he stole from the agency's laboratory and uses a balloon to fly out of the place. While trying to get the antidote back, Gretel accidentally causes Ilvira to fall into the cauldron and she is sent to the oven to be turned into a cookie. Luckily, the witch manages to survive and an explosion sends her into space, where she finds her giant cake again. After getting rid of the villain, Hensel and Gretel mix the antidote into the dough and bake new cookies to break the spell. When the kingdom is safe, the stepmother orders the siblings Grimm to write a story about Hensel and Gretel's adventure, but without mentioning the king and the agency. After a few days of work, Agent's stepdaughter builds a machine capable of turning the pair into adults again and, as promised, after fulfilling her mission, Gretel receives the title of best agent in the kingdom. Hensel then receives his level 80 magician certificate, but decides to give it back as he doesn't know how to do real magic. Gretel then invites her brother to become her official partner in the missions and Hensel is accepted as a member of the agency. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.